Hello and welcome to a special edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where today we're going to be looking at a brand new puzzle from Puzzler Media. And this is a very, it's a very special puzzle, actually, because it is to commemorate a very important anniversary. Uh, this year is the 50th year that Puzzler Media has basically been producing Puzzler magazines. And, um, and if, you're, if you're in the UK and you're in any way familiar with Puzzle magazines, you will know about Puzzler Media's content because if you go into WH Smith's there, all of the decent Sudoku books are made by Puzzler Media. Um, and today we've got Mark Whiteway joining us on this video. And Mark is the head of content of Puzzler Media and he has created the puzzle on the screen, which is a special cryptic crossword um, that Mark and I, other Mark, Mark Goodliff, the, how many times have you won the Times Crossword Championship, Mark? Uh, 12. 12. The 12 time. Uh, Times Crossword Champion. We're going to be having a look at this puzzle uh, together. I don't think I'm going to be saying very much at all during this, um, but <laughs> but the two of us are going to be attempting Mark's puzzle. Um, and I believe that there is there is something special. It's a celebratory message that will appear in the frame of the grid. Um, so actually, Mark, can you click OK so we can just have a I'm going to click OK now. There, there we, go. we go. So if you look at this grid, um, you can see that the sort of starting letters for each down entry and each across entry as you go around, they, they, they I think, are going to spell some sort of message if we can fill the puzzle in correctly. So um, that's going to be the idea. And uh, yeah, we hope that uh, we'll try and do this in a sort of a slightly teaching style. Uh, we know a lot of you out there are new to cryptic crosswords, looking to get into this wonderful, wonderful, it's an art form really, isn't it, Mark? Um, uh, and learn how to do them. So we, we will try and, and teach as best we can. And I to get the privileged. comments from the compiler on the way will be an excellent uh, opportunity. Yeah. I suddenly feel very nervous to be in such esteemed company. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, it's quite the reverse. <laughs> yeah, we're the ones who should be nervous. What if we can't do it? That would be, I think that would be the biggest story. 12 time I'm, times crossword championship fails to solve puzzle. <laughs> I'm, hoping, I'm hoping I'll slow him down for a few minutes at least. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so how should we do this? Should we just kick straight into it and we can talk about yeah, sure. those as we go? You read out the clues, maybe, Simon. OK, all right. Detrimental to mother getting on. I can I, do that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm immediately thinking that getting on can mean getting older or ageing. So if we try and think of an eight letter word that ends in ageing and might mean detrimental, that could be the definition in the clue. And uh, the word I'm coming up with there is damaging. Can damn mean mother? Yes, it can in an animal sense. Yeah, I totally concur. So always I'm remember. I'm going to go with damaging there. Yeah, always remember every cryptic or almost every cryptic clue will have a basic definition either at the start or the end of the clue. So most, well, not most of the skill, but a lot of the skill of these puzzles is working out where the basic definition is in these clues. Um, are we going to look at the, are we going to use the letters we've got? Or are we going to? Yeah, let's have a look at one down, see if we can do anything with that. Sun might wrestle with this for six. I know what I think it is. I, I, That's I interesting know what that is. I don't know what I think it is. I don't really have an idea how to pass that yet. So, okay, well, shall I? Ah, oh, okay. So, the, yes, a, a wrestling hold that's four hyphen six, I have thought of. Is that where you're going? That's where I started, yeah, and I, I could only think of one. <laughs> well, yes, I don't know many wrestling holds because I'm not really a WWE fan, but I, I am aware of the Nelson and the half Nelson. So I presume this is half Nelson, and you can see how if you took the word Nelson and cut it in half, one half would be sun, which is a very clever backwards clue. Nice, nice thinking, Mark. I like that. Thank you. I don't often go for those because they trip me up so often, but I I wanted to give you something that was slightly out of the ordinary. That's very good. Shall we have a look at two down, Simon? Yeah, go for it. Um... 
So smack okay. from outskirts of Mexican state. Um, I don't know that immediately. I'm thinking about taco because it's pointing me towards Mexico, but it might not be that. Have you got any ideas there? No, like you, I'm thinking. Oh, taco. wait, is, is Tabasco not just a sauce, but also uh, a Mexican state? That's it's outside. Really <laughs> outside. <laughs> that's yes, that's very good. And yeah, it's very I clever. I think it is, I although my general it. knowledge about Mexican states is not flawless. Let me make it, is indeed, it is indeed a Mexican state, yes. <laughs> Excellent. So ten across must be Afro now. It's got to be Afro. Range <laughs> yes, 4A. There's a, there's a nice little <laughs> anagram indicator. <laughs> yeah, so there we have to just arrange the letters of A and we can come up with this. I had another clue that I was very pleased with for Afro, but I found once I'd uh, finished the puzzle that actually uh, I'd used one of the words that was, uh, that was an answer. So I had to revise it. Oh, it's, that's it's, always, lucky. it's always annoying when you spot those at the last yeah, minute. Yeah, that's the sort of thing <laughs> solvers don't realise compilers have to have to be aware of, that they don't want to duplicate a word in a clue that's in an answer somewhere else. Yeah. Um, so three down, Simon. Barbecue snack of kidneys minus sides or soft drink. OK, I don't know what's going on here. I have no clues. Um, well, the only thoughts I had about this was of kidneys makes me think of renal. Minus yes, sides, okay. is that taking the R and the L out of the right and the left? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's good. OK, that's given it to me. So this is a oh. solve now. OK. So um, the barbecue snack is a rib in this case. And if you put that before renal without its sides, you get Ribena, <laughs> yeah. which, which our American <laughs> audience will not be aware is a black currant flavored soft drink in in Britain that is absolutely ubiquitous everybody knows ribena and everybody loves ribena uh, well they do I, I learned recently that Americans basically don't have black currants which has astonished me oh my goodness it's just not a flavor there okay well that, that I, yeah I like that clue very much uh, Shall we have a look at four down, or do you want to try one of the acrosses? Let's try four down. Then. Four down. That G. That's a... Punk gig compromised by ending with chart music. I know what this one is. <laughs> you might not get this, Mark. Are, are you suggesting I've never heard of Iggy Pop? <laughs> I was what, suggesting that exactly that. Suggesting there? <laughs> Um, I was immediately thinking that there are seven letters in punk gig, including a G, so it could easily be an anagram. But I think it's just an anagram of gig and then um, the ending of by and chart music is pop to give us the. Uh, oh, sorry, not equally pop. That's a misprint. The uh, I don't know. What, what is his genre, in fact, Simon? You tell us then. Okay, well, punk. <laughs> okay, so the, the punk genius Iggy Pop there. Also That's... known as the godfather of punk. In some oh, is he? Course. That's yeah. interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so this looks like Egypt, doesn't it? It, was, it starts with nation and it's got E something Y, so it does seem like it's speaking Arabic and oh, Latin. Yeah. Yes, and Latin is E-T. Oh, and F. in Latin, E-T. Yeah. And trouble is jip. Thank you. Very I nice. wasn't getting that. Very good. Jip is a pretty old English slang word for trouble. My knee's giving me jip would mean it's hurting. I'm told yeah. it comes from G up, which is a slightly uh, strange that... derivation, but, uh, but that's what it says. Interesting. I certainly didn't know that. I, I was guessing it was something to do with gypsies. So that's interesting to know. Mm -hmm. Um, 13 across in a previous era or age, say. Yeah, that's I know what this one is, but oh, hang on. Let me let me catch up. <laughs> I can see it must end in a go. Yeah. Years ago would fit. Uh, yeah. I oh, anagram that. of or age, say. Yeah. No. Bit naughty. Oh. I only used the question mark there for the anagram indicator. For the anagram indicator. OK. Interesting. Where shall we go now, Simon? Five down? OK, yeah. OK, so objection surrounding river that's dry. I know this one. Yeah. Is this but around the letter R for a river as it might appear uh, on a map? I think so. 
Brute. And then we get brute, which is not dry in a sense of a river, but dry in the sense of champagne. Then okay. we've got nine across. Piece that's green. I think we're looking at a chess piece for that piece. Oh, that's very good, Mark. Yeah, I hadn't got that, but I have now. Thank you. So if we have rook, and then that is, is the Latin i.e. id est. And green as an adjective, obviously, can be rookie as an adjective, less obviously, which uh, is somebody new to something. OK, that's good. That's another nice clue. Very good phrasing there. I mean, very deceptive piece that's green doesn't look like anything to do with rookie at first. Six right. down. First sign of harming river over diamonds contained. I know this one. OK, I don't. So talk me through. <laughs> uh, first sign of harming, I think, is the H from the, is the first the letter H. of harming. OK. Then we're looking for one of the numerous four letter rivers that come up in crosswords. I think well, then I'm assuming odour because of the O in the clue. Oh, no, I think it's the no. Ooze. It's the ooze. Oh, the ooze, the river ooze. Yeah. I suddenly thought of the Ebro as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think it's, it's ooze and then a D for diamonds. OK, so that's housed, which um, means contained. Very nice. Thank you. The river was a bit closer to home. I live by the Great Ooze, so uh, oh, very good. I had to get a mention. I think there are as many as 12 river oozes in Britain because it means river in some Saxon word, Saxon oh. dialect. And look around the perimeter now, Mark. I can see something. Well, I am beginning to see birthday written yeah. backwards there. Yes. Yeah. 50th birthday, 50th birthday. So you think seven down might begin with a T? Yeah. Oh, and it does. <laughs> so this is tier, is it? Which yes. is a row in a stadium, for instance. And evidence of upset heard suggests that it sounds like a tear that you might cry. Right. Yeah. Obviously, on, on first reading, I was uh, yeah, hoping people would think row rather than row. Ah, yes, I should have read that out. Straight away, so, upset yeah. heard in row. That's very nice misdirection. Sorry, I've completely exploded that by, uh, <laughs> by looking ahead. Twelve across star dismissing us for assistant. We hear. Oh, oh that's that very nice. A moment or two. Yeah, that was clever. What I like about that is that we hear normally in crosswords means a homophone, but in this case, it's an assistant that we hear because she talks to us. Don't you, Siri? Let's try and get Simon's Alexa working as well. <laughs> I'm not saying that name. <laughs> it will annoy everybody. <laughs> so this is Siri because the star is Sirius and it dismisses the word us. That's a, yeah, that's a lovely clue. Right. 15 across. During first appearance, university lost, saddled with second 15, maybe. Uh, yes, well, I, I can do the word play. I don't quite understand the definition yet. This is during first appearance translates here as in debut. And if you take out you from that for university, you've got in debt. Why is that saddled with a second 15? It's not it's not a rugby reference. Um, Meant to sound like a rugby reference, but you're right, it's not. Interesting. In debt. Let, let, let me think about that for a bit. Oh, maybe it's is there a 15 down. Maybe we've got to look at that. Oh, I see. OK, that's quite a thought. What is 15 down then? The second 15 in this puzzle. Impecunious in part. IOU. There we IOU go. IOU is part of impecunious. That's a very nice clue because you would be impecunious if you were giving out IOUs. And uh, and it's also in the word impecunious. And of course, you'd be in debt if you were saddled with an IOU. That's very nice. That's a really good connection there. Right. Um, there's another three letter word then. 14 down. Sleuth, not even exposing gang. Yeah. So if we take out the even numbered letters in sleuth, we're left with SET, I think, which could be a gang. But I'm going to go with set. Is that what you were thinking? That's what I was thinking. That looks like Salter, doesn't it? 
Maybe. It could be Asiatic. Uh, <laughs> it could be Asiatic. And it is Salter. <laughs> <laughs> PS for footnote and yeah. uh, revise is Alter. And a Salter is a collection of Psalms, so a devotional work. Um, let's go off the E for that. Back is put off missing this goal. Well, I, I'm seeing end as possibilities for several parts of that. <laughs> yes. Is that what, I'm not sure why. Can you see that, Simon? No, not yet. Um, Defend? No. Defender? Ouch. Oh, yes. Defer is missing from Defender. The back is a defender, and if put off is missing, you lose defer, and you're left with end, which is a goal. As in my my end is to uh, achieve this solution. I don't often do clues that way round, but uh, but yes, that was the idea of uh, restoring. Yeah, that's pretty tricky because spotting spotting defender or defer there is not simple. Yeah. 22 across, singing from the same hymn sheet in duet, perhaps. It's a little anagram, I think. An anagram of in duet would give us yeah. united, which means singing from the same hymn sheet. But again, a very nice surface combining two musical aspects that don't matter for the solution. <laughs> um, OK, 23 down begins with a T. Is this another bit of an anagram here? Medicinal draft is taken in neat concoction. Ooh, that, that's a crossword word if ever I've seen one. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody has used this word tisan in real life, let us know because I've only seen it in crosswords, but it's an anagram of neat around the word is there. It's a herbal no. tea, isn't it, of some sort? Oh, a herbal tea, is it? As that's used medicinally as well, I presume, then, from the clue. Now, we're not allowed to use the the, uh, the Nina to help us here. <laughs> no, okay, fair. I'm, I'm trying not to look around the outside of the grid, but uh, viewers can, officially. Port to the West producing Supreme Olympian. Well, I think the Supreme Olympian's the god Zeus, isn't he? I think that's right. And if that runs to the west, it would give Suez. Or, yeah, if it runs to the west, it would give Suez. So, or rather, Suez running to the west gives Zeus, is the way I should express that. Very nice. Um, 27 down. Connected up, but wrong. Do you know what that is, Simon? That, no. I think it's a reversed word for, that means connected. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know the answer. Let's try the 30 across instead then. Showy flower South Africa protects in one way and another. Is that going to be zinnia? Well, yes, helped helped by the pus. Helped I by the zinnia that, that I'm kind of expecting there when yeah. I claimed I wasn't looking at the perimeter. So that South Africa is abbreviated to ZA, Zudafrica, and uh, it's protecting the word in written normally and then the other way around, i.e. in one way and another, which is, again, lovely phrasing. Now, let's go back to 27. Connected up but wrong. So evil is wrong. And connected is live. We're live now. OK, that's that's sort of the clue, the clue in the Times Crossword Championship that I absolutely dread. <laughs> Because it's just two vowels in the in the answer. And yeah, yeah. Lots of possible words that would lots fit. Lots of possible yeah. words. It's the opposite of Afro from blank A, yeah. blank O. <laughs> yeah, not very specific definitions either. So, yeah, that's true. Shall we shall we look at the long one beginning with B? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Attend counselling largely to escape punishment. Oh, oh that's got that. Yeah. Question. That's beat the beat rat, the rat. <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So be at therapy largely. That's beautiful. That's a really nice repurposing of a phrase. Um, yeah, you just have to put a Y on the end of beat beat the rap and you're being at therapy, which is a lovely uh thing to have spotted by Mark. That's beautiful. 
I, was, I think that was my favourite clue of all of them, actually. I'm not surprised. That's really <laughs> that's really elegant, really worked, pretty. Worked well. So 19 across, heads for vegetarian option. I don't know this, Simon. What's going well, I on? I think it's nut something, isn't it? It's going to be nuts. Oh, so nut is one head and then a yeah, loaf maybe loaf. would be yeah. Nut loaf. Very good. OK. 20 down, begin filling street with such a disturbance. Such a, uh, substance. Such a substance. I can't read. <laughs> sounds like so tar. Tar coming from start. Yeah. Because if you fill street with tar, you get start. Very nice. 24 across. In retrospect, somewhat bitter, a match for espresso. So it looks to me like we can take the phrase bitter a match and reverse it and take some of it out. And then we get amaretti. Lovely, yeah. Um, which I presume is espresso. I would have thought as amaretti as biscuits, but. It is, it's, it's, a, it's a match for espresso is, is intended. Oh, a as match the, for espresso, of course. Espresso the, and amaretti yeah. together. Excellent, thank you. 21 down then. Distortion at home that might lead to conflict. I've not got that one. A warp is distortion. At, and then H for home, war path might lead to conflict. Oh, well done. Oh, that's very good. That's a good solve. Yeah, that's not, that's not simple. Um, where do you want to go next? 31 with the T and the A later? Yeah, that's that's that one's OK now. We've got that T, isn't it? We can write that. Learn to, so yes, without that, it's difficult. But this yeah. must be take away, meaning subtract. And to learn if you take what you take away is what you learn from an experience, I guess. 25 down. Oh, state as the first word. <laughs> that screaming, <laughs> screaming a state of the, the USA. <laughs> So assumed name, having disposed of one spirit. Oh, that's not, it's not AKA then, that's alias, alias minus one. Car for the spirit, and which car is, evil. is spirit, <laughs> which is some sort of Egyptian mysticism thing, I think. It's a, it, yes, I think it's, it's, it's the spirit in a body that can also reside in a statue, sort of, of a, of a wow. pharaoh. Or, it's it's great they come up with a two letter word for that thing. OK, so 28 across some cappuccino returned for another brew. So I think, again, we've got a reversed hidden here. Are you seeing cuppa in that cappuccino, Simon? I am indeed. Cuppa is an English cup of tea. So 28 down, clean arch top to bottom. That must be char, mustn't it? If you're a cleaner, you're a char. So if you are doing cleaning, you char for somebody. And that's putting the bottom of arch or the top of its uh, of the arch on the bottom of the word. 29 across. One controlling the past that traverses avalanche fields. Is, is this another hidden? Are we looking at chef out of chef. the middle of avalanche fields there? Yeah. Why does a chef control the past, Simon? I have no idea. It feels that's, like that, a, right. I mean, it must be right. Controlling the the past must be something in in a in a restaurant. Is it then? It is. Yes. It's it's the counter over which the food passes. So it's where the food leaves the kitchen and goes to the waiting wow, that stairs. counter is called the pass is it i, I believe so yes wow I never did that. not know that and 29 down thunderous noise finishing off electric circuit so <laughs> the, the finishing off electric is the letter c and a circuit is a lap i suppose to give us the thunderclap that we need here that's lovely what a lovely yes, puzzle indeed. That's really good. Um, and then if we read from where do we start down? Happy, happy down at the bottom. Happy yeah. if we start down here. Happy 50th birthday puzzler. And of course, the perfect message for this occasion. Bravo, Mark. That was very, very um, 
Well, I should, I should say bravo Marks, actually. <laughs> I, I really mean Mark, Mark Whiteway for the... Um, well, you certainly uh, got a few that I wasn't getting quickly, Simon, so that's good. No, but I, I, I thought that actually it was, a, it was a very enjoyable puzzle. And there are some very nicely worded clues there. There really are. And also to get that message around the edge without resorting to, you know, dreadfully arcane vocabulary is really very nice indeed. Yes, you, it, it's not like the uh, the Times uh, monthly special where tisan would be the most common word in it. Here it's the least, perhaps. Yeah. That's very good, Mark. Thank you. Thank you very much. So it did limit me a bit. I must admit, when I did sort of have that find a problem with a clue, I couldn't really change much. To <laughs> so uh, <laughs> you're forced to find ways around things, aren't you? You definitely are. That's, That's and, great. Um, and are there, there's a special 50th edition of Puzzler, isn't there? Absolutely, yes. I've, I've got it sitting behind me. We, we've brought out a, a magazine sort of celebrating the 50 years and, and all of the decades between the 1972 launch and now. So it's, it's called Puzzler Gold. Um, it's on sale now and it sort of contains uh, puzzles that are inspired by the, the different decades. So there are sort of quizzes of the decade. Um, you know, I'm obviously a kind of 70s kid. So, uh, you know, that, that that's great fun for me. Lots of puzzles that kind of refer to, to the various eras. So I kind of themed on that basis. And even some of the puzzles that, you know, come from the, the, the I think, you know, from the first issue um, and some of the favourites. So, so some of the slightly unusual puzzles that you get in Puzzler that are not necessarily found elsewhere, sort of round tour and roundabouts and uh, the sort of story crossword, things like that. So it's it's just a, a real kind of celebration of, um, of, of those 50 years. Uh, I haven't quite been here for all of them, but I have been here for <laughs> quite a number of them. I'm sure we were told you'd been there a million years, so I'm sure, I'm sure it's not true. That's true. I think the truth is 1989, I think. So that is going back quite, quite some time. Wow. That's, uh, yeah, that's a long time with one company. Yeah. I, I did. I nipped over to the opposition for a short while and, uh, and then came back. <laughs> Couldn't resist it. I don't blame you. I, I, but Puzzler does those logic is it logic problems? It like, is. Yes. It, I used to love those when I was younger. Those, those with all the boxes, and I would do my ticks and crosses very diligently. Uh, yes, we, uh, we're we're still doing it, and it still has a a great sort of following. So yeah, yeah. it's lovely to that that's that that one's still there. Yeah. Well, I've always been a fan of the whole magazine. When I was um, a teenager, I remember being such a fan that when my grandparents had a 50th anniversary talking of gold and 50th anniversaries I put together a puzzler style booklet for them about their puzzles and uh, what I hadn't realized when I did that is that they were born before the crossword was invented that's Whoa. absolutely shocking wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, that's yeah, so I suppose, yeah I suppose what was it 26 or was it 22 no well so, invented in 1913 in the state Oh, was it? Oh, I thought it was in the 20s. Yeah, but my, my grandparents were born in 1901 and 1902, so uh, they they predated it by by more than a decade. Wow. That's funny. My, uh, it was my grandparents that introduced me to Puzzler. In fact, it was uh, my, my gran used to solve it, and I would just pick up her copies and, and try and fill in all the blanks. So the puzzles that she didn't like were the, um, were the code words. So I started oh, really? started with those, yeah. So that's where that came from. <laughs> Great stuff. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much, Mark, for joining us. And thank you very, and thank you very much for setting such a great puzzle. I hope those of you out there who are new to cryptic crosswords got something from watching a true expert blitz through it, um, and yeah, and had some fun on the way. That's wonderful. And thank you also for the puzzle that you've done for us. So so this puzzle and the one you've done for us will be up on our website um, with a link for anybody to, to play that, that wants to. Fantastic. Yes. Well, we'll be back later, of course, with another probably a Sudoku edition of Cracking the Cryptic. We can also find lots of Sudokus on Puzzler too. <laughs> but um, 
But thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thanks very much. Bye now. Bye.